Hi, I'm going to go through my Outbound XT with all of the highlights. And uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is the awning. So let's go with the awning. Go help. All right. The awning, it comes it's zippered up at the top and then it just unrolls all the way like that. It's a pretty good size awning. The poles we have set up already, but they do collapse and they slide into this little tray. And then the, they've got points on the bottom so that they stick into the ground and then you can tie them up with these ties here. Nice, great big shade in that awning. And there is a window underneath the awning and with the window itself has an awning already. So we'll let that just drift all the way down and then you come on over with me and we will show you the other side with the window and how that awning works. All right, so it is all the way tied up like that. It rolls up and then it just rolls down and it hooks like so. Very simple. These bars here uh, have tension in them. So when you take the awning, I'll show you how to take the awning and roll it back up again. It's very easy. It rolls all by itself. And there you have it. Very good. So the next thing is on this side, we have an air conditioning vent because there's an air conditioner, an electric fireplace and a TV inside the trailer. Um, we have our source of power. So we stick an extension cord in there. Um, this little guy comes down like that. It, we haven't had any rodents, any bugs, no spiders when we're storing the vehicle. And that just clips right in there like that with the extension cord. Any old extension cord will do. Uh, we'll get to the inside in just a second. We've got a nice big tray here for coolers and chairs and other equipment. Um, a spare tire hangs underneath, easy to get to. Um, we are able to maneuver this around ourselves. The trailer is light enough that we can just park it out in the street and push the trailer up into the garage. All right, so, hang on, I need your help. Um, the door here is tall. Easy door, big step, but they have a step underneath it. You just pull it out, flips it down just like so. And then my son is gonna step up into it because he is six feet and he is able to stand completely up inside. All right, before we pull out the bed, come on out for a second. Um, I want to show you that the the trailer itself has a uh, capability of being a couch or a bed with storage cubbies underneath, storage cubbies up above. Uh, the windows here, they slide and they lock. And then there is a vent. Uh, this is capable of, uh, and has electric hookup, but we have not done anything with the electric hookup. So, um, We've just let the natural wind and hot air drift out. All right, so there is our air conditioner, um, our fireplace, and the TV. So they're all stacked one right next to each other and they work. Um, here's our fireplace, not needed today on a hot day like this. Do I not have that plugged in or do I have another one? Oh, that's right. We'll do the air conditioner first. So air conditioner good blowing now it's all operated off that extension cord with a power power switch unplug the air conditioner plug in the fireplace and there you have it all remote control it gets really hot in here so you can sleep Oh boy, you could probably sleep in here in the, when it's in the 20s. We have not gone that cold, but uh, it really gets warm in here. So turn that off. 
And then we have remote control for the TV. So the TV works too. So see there's a the little light on the TV. Okay, there it is. Now, we rigged up curtains. So we got hooks and uh, for privacy. And all we did was do little paper clips. Just like that. So when we're going to sleep at night or we're changing our clothes, we just do the hooks. We also did hooks all the way around and up above. And the hooks can hold baskets or clothing. What we do is clean clothing around the hooks, dirty clothes are under the bed. We added a mirror. And then with this light, we have this remote here. And it lights up on, off, has different settings. It operates all of the lights. I think that must be a dead battery. There we go. And another light. And they have different dims and you can time, you can have it so that the lights go out on a different timer, like 15 minutes, half an hour and so on. Okay, so the bed, uh, which is, oh, I should say one more thing. There is a spot on the floor that you can put the table leg. We decided we didn't want to mess with that so we lifted up this plate here and stuck a tin lid underneath so that we're not getting any bugs or rodents or anything. Because for us, we just didn't need use of the table. It, it didn't make sense to us. All right, so for the bed, I'm gonna have my son, actually I could do it if you want a video. All you do, so step out so you can get the whole step out. I have. Okay, so you just lift up here and you pull. There's a little um, there. basically a double bed step down here so Sydney since you're tall why don't you go in and lay on that bed show them how long it is there you go easily sleeps two people all right come on out honey now one of the main reasons that we purchased this instead of a teardrop is because of the nightly bathroom so what I did was I had an old time chamber pot, which slides under the bed, put in a little bit of a liner, and then I didn't have to go outside at night to utilize the facilities. Um, make sure I empty that every day. There's a little bit of storage under here. And the, uh, the um, it does have stabilizers on it right here. Honey, I need your help one more time. There you go. So all you need to do is pull out, lock it in place, stick this in, and lower it down. All right? And then it goes all the way around. You do want to make sure that you put those up and the stairs up before you take off in the vehicle uh, pulling this. It's a very light trailer. Um...